Hello and welcome to PCI's Tech TV. In this episode we are going to demonstrate the power of automatic stereo ground control point collection, also known as stereo GCPs. Specifically we will provide some basic background information about stereo GCPs, we'll demonstrate how to automatically collect stereo GCPs in Ortho Engine, and we will then display the benefits of using stereo GCPs in your photogrammetric projects. So stereo GCP collection is a simple but very powerful concept of collecting the same ground control point on multiple images in an overlap region. In a way, you can think of stereo GCPs as having similar properties to regular ground control points as well as tie points combined. As a result, they create very stable geometric models, which is ideal for creating orthomosaics and extracting digital elevation models. As mentioned, the concept is simple, but the benefits are significant. Really, all we are doing is measuring a GCP as compared to our reference image here, and then placing that ground control point on all of the images that overlap that area. So in here you can see we have three images from a tri-stereo pair, or tri-stereo set, where we have the ground control point that was originally found or identified on the reference image, and then it was associated to the three different images in this data set. So now let's show you how simple this process of using Geomatic as ortho engine in order to collect stereo GCPs is. So in this demo we will be using beautiful Spot 6 tri-stereo imagery over Barcelona, Spain. So before we actually do go into the processing steps, let's just take a look at our input imagery. So we have our reference image here which is a pan sharpened Spot 7 ortho mosaic and we have our tri-stereo panchromatic spot 6 images below. So if we toggle this off you can see there is a significant displacement between the features in our spot 7 or our accurate reference image and then our spot 6 imagery. And even between them there is a relatively significant displacement between the tri-stereo pairs themselves. So let's get to correcting these spot 6 images. I'm going to open up Ortho Engine here from our Geomatica toolbar, and we're going to start a new project. So we can go down to File, New. We can create any name for it, so we'll just call it Stereo Spot 6. And here we can just call it Automatic Stereo GCP. We're going to create an optical satellite modeling project and we're going to choose rational function extract from image. So now here our output projection, this can basically be anything we like. It's easiest in my opinion to make it the same uh, projection as our input imagery or our reference imagery. So in this case we're going to use our reference imagery, which is the spot 7 image here. We can go to properties and focus under the files tab, go to projection. We'll just copy this projection here paste it into here, the string. We know that because we're dealing with spot 6 uh, imagery, panchromatic imagery, we know it's 1.5 meters and we're going to set this so the important thing is that our GCP projection is set to the exact same projection as our reference image here. So we can click OK for this. We can then move down to the processing step data input and we can click on our open a new or existing image. So we'll quickly add some images and we're just going to go to our folder with our imagery so I'm just going to paste the string in here to our path. Here's our three raw images. We have our backward, our forward, and our nadir looking imagery. Can we add them to the project there? And now we can go down to our GCP and tie point collection step. And we can click on this one which is collect GCPs automatically which will bring up our automatic GCP collection panel. And at the beginning we're just going to set up our automatic GCP collection as we would any other project. So we go to our reference, set our reference image here. We're going to choose our DEM. Now in this case we're just going to use the best DEM we have available to us, which is a 30 meter SRTM, freely available SRTM DEM. If you don't have 30 meter SRTMs in your region, you can use the 90 meter SRTMs. And then we're going to click on the Stereo GCPs option here. So now we have an option to choose how we're going to collect our GCPs. So we're going to use a number of counts. So we're going to set it to 150. Another option is we can choose by spacing. So we can set a certain spacing interval in between 
where it should sample for a stereo ground control point. And then the only other option we really need to change here is our search radius because we had such a large error between our reference imagery and our input images, we're going to increase this to 500 pixels. At this point I can simply click match GCPs and away we go. So now we get our output GCPs and you can actually see it did better than we were even anticipating. It collected 212 stereo GCPs in the project so we can quickly compute the model. We can see that we have a couple bad ones so we'll just remove this really bad one. Recompute this model here. And then we'll add the remaining GCPs to our project. We're going to then go to our residual errors panel, computer model once again, sort them by worst to best, and let's just remove all the ones that have really high residuals. So we can delete these points because we have so many points to play with. We can delete a lot of them at the beginning, and we can now see that with still 147 GCPs, we have a sub-pixel or about a half-pixel RMS error between our images. So just so we have a better understanding of what this really is, let's just to take a look at some of the GCPs that were collected. So if we take a look at, say, two of these images, just as a quick example, we can see that when we select a particular, actually we even take a look at, say, the third one, if we can, when we select a particular GCP or ground control point, you can see they all go to that region. It's a little bit messy on my screen here, but the idea is, is that we're collecting this using the same ground control point for all of our images based on that particular pixel or that particular feature, which gives us a more stable model as well as much more information if there are problems. So now that we have our stereo GCPs, we can go on and extract our digital elevation model from the tri-stereo pair. or we can go directly to our ortho generation step if we already have our DEM, or we can do both. So just so you can see here, the DEM that we extract is very well detailed, very high detailed, very accurate digital elevation model of our Barcelona region. So very beautiful digital elevation model that's automatically extracted from a tri-stereo pair. We're also able to extract or generate as a result very accurate ortho images. So if we zoom in, for example, to a location here, we can see that, say into this region here, we can see that we have very little movement between the images. Subpixel accuracy. So this gives us a nice relative and absolute accuracy of our imagery. So for more information about the quality and accuracy of Geomatica's DEM extraction, orthorectification and pan sharpening with spot 6 and spot 7 data, please visit the site based on the link below.